Alright guys, in this Jinx video, I'm showing you how to hard carry with Jinx. But first off, you need to know what to build and the runes you should be using. So first, let's break down the items. You want to use Blade of the Rune King. It gives, it gives great attack damage, uh, attack speed. Also, the physical vamp is so great on Jinx. Next, you want to get Infinity Edge, Stasis, Rune on Turricane, Static Shiv, and Mortar Reminder for that heal cutting and armor pen. It's always great to have. For the runes, you're going to want to run Conquer, Brutal, Hunter Titan, and Sweet Tooth. These are very standard runes. Very great. You should always be using Conquer and Brutal. And for the spells, you should rock the Barrier and Flash. So in this gameplay, I'm basically going to break down how to hard carry with Jinx. In this gameplay, I, I made amazing plays. So I hope you guys do enjoy. And let's hop right on into the game. Okay, so like I said, in this video, we're going to be going over how to hard carry with Jinx. And once you figure out how to position, use Jinx, and her abilities, you're going to be able to farm up some, some free elo, man. Especially in the lower tiers, because Jinx is basically a powerhouse in the late game, and your job is to get her there. She is very, very amazing once you can get her there. So, the key is the laning phase, uh, team fighting earlier on, and the mid game play. And in this gameplay, I'm able to show off what you're supposed to do extremely well. So, in this game, we are against a Braum Zaya. So, like I said in a lot of my ADC videos when I'm doing uh, this post commentary talkies, you wanna you wanna figure out what is their goal in the laning phase. So, okay, Zaya has feathers, um, and with her feathers, she wants to root you in order to go on you, or she wants to use her skill two, which are, which gives speed, and um, and to just engage on me. The second thing is, well, Brom, he wants to hit me with his uh, skill one or auto attack me to put the passive on me. So the only way they can win is if Brom puts a passive on me and then Zaya uh, follows up with a root from her feathers. So what do I have to do against that? Well, do not position around feathers and stay around minions so Brom can't hit me with his skill one to apply the passive. And also, I got to look at, okay, well, Okay, so right here we take a nice little fight. One thing I recommend with the traps is you want to place them uh, near walls. Oh, I thought I was going to place my traps there, but I guess not. But, uh, yeah, so like I was saying, with Lulu, I want Lulu to barrier and then polymorph me. And then that's when I'll engage onto Zaya to, to poke. And, I, and we actually do that combo a lot. Now, you do not need to play Jinx with Lulu, but it's a huge, huge, huge bonus. So right here... I get polymorphed and you can see me engaging auto attack zap. I put the traps on the wall. That's a great little tip to basically um, secure a freaking stun. Um, so you want to use your traps near walls and kind of pad near walls as well. And boom, we are just poking them out here doing great. I'm not playing into their win condition. I'm not giving Braum a free passive on me and, and letting Zaya follow up. Um, also, you can see me managing the wave perfectly here. I am not shoving the wave in as uh, I'm not shoving the wave in and I'm just poking them. So I'm keeping the wave in the middle and uh, poking them out because I don't want to get ganked by Lee Sin. So it's very key to make sure you're controlling the lane how you want to be controlling it. Uh, you want to make sure you're not just randomly shoving the wave in. You want to be doing everything with purpose. If you're going to go poke them, why are you poking him? Are you poking him because the enemy ADC is about to take an auto attack, or he used a he has a certain ability on cooldown? Uh, are you shoving the wave because you want to do turret damage, or are you trying to recall, or or you're trying to rotate to your jungler? Like you need to have a reason to why you're doing it. If you're just pushing brainlessly, that is not smart. That is not smart. You want to freeze the wave on your side and poke him out, especially when you have a lead going. So. I know by the way this lane phase has been going, I'm slowly building a gold lead against uh, Zaya just CS wise, which is always good to have. You know, a 300 gold lead is actually pretty big um, in, in the early game, especially when it comes down to shopping for an item when you recall. But you can see, man, I am not even auto attacking the wave. Like, I'm not shoving the wave at all because the dragon is spawning. I don't know where their jungler is and I don't want to get ganked. So, right here, now I start clearing out the wave because I want it to level out and get ready for this 
dragon, but I don't face check any bushes because, you know, Lee Sin could be literally anywhere. So Lulu moves forward and watch how I take these fights, guys. I literally play outside. I play outside. I just poke down one person at a time. I'm staying out of the fight. I'm not getting near anyone. You know, I'm tapping Braum a few times, getting him low. And you can just see me chilling. My uh, traps were actually in a decent spot. Somehow Katarina lived right there, which was crazy, crazy. And now we're kind of just caught in a bad situation. And right here, you know, I'm just trying to look for a kill where I can get it. So I'm focusing on Leeson. Get the kill onto Leeson. You can see me kiting around, being safe. But right here, I mean, Darius just flash, flash, uh, and pulled all three of us, which was disgusting. But you know, not necessarily a bad, you know, fight. I mean, our top laner didn't rotate either, but I, at least I was able to secure one kill. And what does that mean? I mean, it allows me to stay even with Zaya because Zaya also got a kill there. So at least I'm staying even with her uh, for now. And in the laning phase, at this point, you know, I'm just going to try to poke them down because I do have my Blade of the Rune King, which is a huge, uh, huge power uh, spike for me. Uh, which means I want to use it to my advantage. So I'm keeping this wave here, right? Because there's no reason to just shove it in. Because if I shove it in, I don't really have anything to do. So right here, I have Lulu uh, give me the polymorph. And I start going in. Watch how I put the traps near the wall. Beautiful. And I just start focusing Braum. Because Braum was just uh, out of position. And right here, I am out damaging them. Uh, but there is some minions in the way. And boom, man. Big freaking rotation from our team. Uh, coming in clutch. Bragus, look at that damage right there. And low key, I'm kind of heated right here, right? Because right here, when we're focusing this Katarina, I'm I'm dying for this kill so hard. And I didn't get any kills there. Just pure assists, which on Jinx can actually suck. I mean, I've seen a game where where it, it's just sad when you're in a when a game where that. Uh, your team is just winning, right? But none of the gold's on you because you just have a bunch of assists. And on, on ADCs, that can suck a lot because ADCs can actually hard carry games uh, with the gold. And like, for example, I could I could have way more items than I do now, but it's okay. Uh, definitely, uh, it's okay for the gold to be on Gragas as well, but it, it could just be a little tilting. But in team fights, the way you want to take team fights with Jinx and... Just mainly a lot of the ADCs, and you want to fight, you know, with your range. You want to fight with your range. You you should never be moving close in range. You want to use the rockets, stay far back, stay safe, and do damage because Jinx doesn't have any dashes. I mean, in her kit she has a zap and traps, but she doesn't really have much much uh, mobility. So if you're lacking mobility, then you need to be positioning very critically well so right here you can see me in my rocket form and i am just staying back look at how far back i am just autoing very far back keeping my distance boom we get up one kill and i'm still keeping my distance you know uh the brommel is slowing me down which is going to allow me to close the gap but right here i am still just poking them down i have to burn flash right here because i'm not in the best position and i'm just still poking them look at this poke boom boom sadly my energy is just getting cut down super fast but i end up landing the zap with an ultimate getting them super low i'm kind of sad that we weren't able to get a kill there but trust me guys this game ramps up quick right here the darius is just overextending i'm not exactly sure what he's doing but we end up getting the kill onto him and look at me i still keep my distance though I, i'm not committing to anything i don't need to commit to i want to come back to this rift herald we end up getting the Rift Herald, thank God. And now we're caught in a little weird position. Okay, guys, watch this. Just watch this. Watch the way I position here. I'm basically staying in and out of everything. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Kiting everyone and everything. Look at this. 2v3 situation. I am just kiting everything. Boom, 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 boom. I'm surprised I didn't have energy for my rocket there and i was so upset about it boom but at least we get the least in though um and i still didn't get the kill i still didn't get the kill but guys i, re I recommend you to rewind that and just see how me and deceived were just fighting that together taking our time i was dodging everything hiding keeping my distance i mean it was just beautiful the way we were both playing it um 
you know, I popped the honeycomb for deceived, and I even put vision in the in that bush to to make sure I wasn't stepping into anything crazy. Um, I've been watching a lot of the SCE tournaments, and it's just very interesting to see how 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 much better the players are there. And uh, the main key thing that I was taken away from watching those games is the way the ADCs are positioning, and. You want to really make sure you're playing your range. I used to have a mistake where I would just run forward, especially with Jinx. When I would get excited off my passive, I just tend to just run forward and then kill myself. So right here, we're kind of in a weird situation. I kind of wasted my traps right there. But man, that Brahmul slows me down so much. But right here, we're doing significant damage. Usually, you want to kill someone with your rockets. Uh, you don't want to ult someone uh, unless you will get the kill. But sometimes I just do it to make sure we get that burst damage. And man, you can see I'm still racking up the assists here. Um, get I end up getting a lot of assists this game. But trust me, guys. Trust me right here. Because you'll see me just completely pop off here soon. So right here, beautiful Rift Herald placement. We're still keeping my distance. Like, if you see the way I play, I'm just keeping my distance this game. Look at the way I just rushed them down here. Boom, 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 boom. Now it's time to... Uh, you know, I wanted to go on Katarina, but it's like, you know what guys, it's time for us to get out because we don't want to overextend our welcome for way too long. But, you know, they decide to honestly uh, step up a little bit to put a Rift Herald, so here I am. I have to flash that out immediately, setting up the traps. Prom gets rooted. I'm looking for a kill. Boom! Rocket gets the kill, and I'm just moving forward. Doosh, doosh. I hit them with the zap. Doosh. You get one more? Doosh. 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 And I just secure these guys like it's nothing. Boom. Boom. With the zap. Boom, baby. Oh, and Lee Sin, what are you up to? Boom, 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 boom. And he actually, he lives. He lives. It is what it is. But, man, that is so fun to do on uh, Jinx. That is the most satisfying thing to do with Jinx is when you get excited and you're just auto-attacking so fast. You're moving so fast. I mean, everything is happening so fast. It's such an amazing experience. And trust me, guys, in in Emerald and, and Diamond ELO, you could really get away with Jinx. You can really get away with Jinx because people do not really know how to play against the Jinx. And if you get fed, I mean, it, it, it can sometimes be better than having a like any other fed ADC. Like, a fed Jinx, I mean, the rocket damage late game is absolutely insane. And you could single-handedly secure objective two with the rocket. So she's definitely a hard carrying champion. And having, a, obviously, Lulu paired up with her is a huge advantage. And I saw that when I made my ADC uh, tier list, a lot of people in the comments, you know, felt like Jinx should have gotten a little bit more uh, recognition for how good she is. And, you know, there's some definitely some play of Jinx, especially in the S uh, in the EU uh, Origin series that I've been seeing. So learning how to play Jinx and figuring it, her out can be really great for your hero pool if you are an ADC player. Uh, and I think obviously when someone on your team picks Lulu, definitely Jinx is a great goat too. Uh, I think Lulu is actually super strong right now. I love playing Lulu into Braum. I think Lulu is such so great because um, Braum is really weak in the early game. It allows Lulu to kind of survive the early game as well, which is very beneficial. So in these team fights, guys, you're going to see me still be very cautious. As Jinx, you want to be very cautious because you're going to be the hard carry. You're going to be the main source of damage, right? So if you're going to be the main source of damage, you got to make sure that you're positioning yourself correctly. And against that comp, I need to worry about Lee Sin Kick, Brahmos Ultimate, Darius uh, Pull. I got to worry about a lot of CC, which can be very scary. But as long as, you know, I'm staying around my team and just uh, making sure I fight with my flash especially, it's very important to have your flash up or you can have a miserable time. So right here, they end up starting the Baron and it's like, no siree. You can see me just on the outside. I'm not committing to anything. This uh, Darius gets a little annoying for me. Like, he healed up so much. It's like, bro, can you please just die? Boom, get him. They sadly got the, the Baron. I end up flashing over, and boom, we just end up popping him so quick. And at this point, I was like, dude, can we end this game or no? But we, we weren't able to end off this, uh, this push because it was just, uh, it was too hard. We didn't have enough time. One of, uh, I think Braum, yeah, Braum 
still had Baron buff, which sucked. I mean, that that really sucked that we weren't able to get it. And I really wish that I actually had a little bit more assistance on that Darius. Because, man, that Darius, you know, just took a lot of my time. So, right here, we get the inhib tower, which ain't bad. And uh, now we have to reset, right? Because they know we're low. So, they're going to try to get the uh, uh, Cloud Dragon as we're, we're recalling, resetting, shopping, and rotating back. So, I know that we got to bolt down there as soon as possible. Yeah, so this game's going pretty decent for me. I only have one death, and I think as an ADC, you want to have, at, like, if you win the game, you want to have at least three or less deaths. So right here, they're all engaging on Lulu, and I get excited. And watch the way I play this around the freaking red buff. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at this. I'm still playing safe over the wall. Like, I, I'm not doing anything crazy whatsoever, guys, at all. Like, the way I was positioning just over the wall, hitting them with the rockets, I even got a... Uh, a double kill well i got a triple kill but two of the kills i got with like i think one rocket shot uh that's the power of the rocket splash damage and the runons uh hurricane item that you should be building i mean it's just an immense amount of damage and so right here we're just going to continuously uh push because we are just about to close out this game i mean it, at this point there's literally no chance for the enemy team to even come close to uh to winning so we end up just uh backing off you know i want to shop up buy my items and uh just really be as strong as possible so in this gameplay what have i done good is i've been very smart with the positioning i've been having very good uh i've been making very good and smart fi uh team fight decisions which is really key and also guys the the, the main thing the main thing about uh playing a champion that isn't isn't really the the s tier adc is the way you play the laning phase the way you play the laning phase is so important and knowing exactly what you have to do in that laning phase is very critical so that's why i recommend you always think about as if you had the enemy team's comp so i'm thinking like okay they have zaya Brahm. if i'm zaya Brahm, what would i do and i think that's the best way to think about it and so right here we're pushing in with the uh wave that we do got and this darius just continuously goes on me i zap him up and look at the freaking uh traps man just trapping everyone there sadly i'm not able to secure any of these kills dude like uh besides that one oh and that one oh my god for some reason i thought i only got 12 kills this game but i guess i got more kills uh, for some reason i only thought i got 12 but no we we pushed the limits here in this game i mean 14 1 and 15 uh, not bad not bad score for a jinx and for an adc player so all i recommend you guys to do is know exactly how to play the laning phase the team fights and just watch this back man anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one peace